Okay, welcome to the uh, third of our videos. This one's going to show you how to draw a polygon. So a polygon is just a, a shape that has straight sides um, on it. A square is an example of a polygon, a particular a special type of polygon. So I'm going to draw on this map uh, areas to show um, two, two things. One, I'm going to show recreational areas, parklands, and the second one is I'll show the schools that are in the area. Okay, so um, having done some research about West End, I know that West End has a lot of parkland along the edge of the river here. This is called Orley Park, all around the edge there. And that stretches all the way along here, very narrow parklands up here, through into what's called Davies Park, which is a rugby league ground. And this is a sort of an open area where people can just generally play. And then later, in a minute, I will also draw a shade that area in there, because that's the West End Primary School, it's the end primary school in the area. Okay, so um, as you can see, if you watch the previous video, you'd know that I drew that red line in there, um, the border, the boundary of West End. So I'm just going to get rid of that, or hide that, because it's just going to get in my way and obscure what I'm trying to do. So I just click that off over here. Yeah. And now I go into my polygon tool. So the polygon tool is uh, this one up here, add a polygon, just click that, and it'll bring up the same dialog box. Um, As we saw in the um, in the previous, let me draw a line. Uh, recreational areas, and I'm going to call that recreational areas one because I might have to draw a second one. Okay, and then I'm going. That's the description of it, um, and then the style. Um, you can there's two two color settings here one is for the area the fill of the shape and the other is for the edge the color around the outside of the shape um, so with this one here I'm going to change the opacity settings here to 50% away from the normal default which is 100% so it actually becomes see-through you can adjust all these things later on as well after you've drawn the shape Okay, so I just push that out the way. Remember, we don't push OK, we just push that out the way. And now we just go into our map and we're just going to start clicking um, to show the recreational area. And I'm just using, and as you can see, um, as we go down the map, it just adds, uh, it, make, it fills it all in this colour. So I'm just going to go around the edge of the parkland. Okay, it looks like it's filling the whole thing, but when I start clicking up here, it starts to actually just fill in the area within the dotted shapes that I'm drawing. So that goes along there, probably right up to there. And that pretty much, if we just zoom out, that pretty much shows um, that parkland. So I'm happy with that. I'm just, and as, I'm just going to click OK. But if you're not happy with it, remember what I said before, that you can actually just um, click in here and, and you can actually just move these little points around so that you've got to move the houses here a bit, for example. OK. Uh, we might just drag that one actually just there, that one to there, it's actually someone's backyard just there, um, and that looks that looks okay there, oh, I'm pretty much happy with that, so just going to go okay, and it draws that shape in there, and as you can see the shape's got that kind of bright yellow, that bright green, um, if we just right click on that, it's added the name of the shape over here, we just click on that and go to properties, we can actually see what the colour is, if we wanted to change the colour of that to pink, we could do that. Um, we can change this at any time. Uh, if we want to change the line colour to a red, we could do that as well. Okay. Um, but, you know, I'm going to choose that colour. It might be a bit nicer. Um, so that's basically how you add a shape. When you're happy with the shape, you're just going to go OK and it adds the shape there. Okay, now basically with your map you'll need to shade in pretty much the whole suburb to show the different sorts of land uses. Remember I said I was going to um, shade in West End Primary, which is this area here. Uh, I always find it easier to do this sort of work when your tilt and compass are reset, so you've got that perfect 180 degree angle looking down. So that's West End Primary School, that area in there. So we'll just do another shape. Um, 
make sure we're over here in temporary places or we've clicked that last shape but one of those two as long as it's one of those two is selected it will put the shape in the right spot and we'll just click out at polygon again this time I'm going to use the color um, the line color I want to be yellow and I'll just change that to yellow as well and leave that opacity at 50% and we'll just go around here to show um, West End Primary School ok I'll we'll put the description up there that's going to be called West End Primary School and we'll just go ok and there it is West End Primary School so um, that's pretty much all you need to do uh,